All right, so this is lesson uh, 4-2. We're gonna be talking about the angles of triangles. We've already learned how to classify triangles according to their angles and their side length measure. Um, so now we're gonna start doing stuff with that. So we're gonna learn two new theorems in this lesson. The first one is the triangle angle sum theorem. So we know, you should know already, but this is the theorem that tells you that all three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. That's it, that's what the whole theorem is. The sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180. So over here, angles A, B, and C all add up to 180 degrees, okay? So we can mathematically find angles uh, here. Let me zoom in a little bit, I know it's kind of small. All right, so for number one here, if this angle is 62 and this one's 90, we can automatically find that third angle, right? 62 plus 90 plus whatever the measure of angle one is, they're all gonna add up to 180. Okay, 62 and 90 is gonna be 152 plus the measure of angle one minus 152 from both sides. Super simple math. The measure of angle one has to be 28 degrees. So that's our answer. This angle has to be 28 degrees. Okay, number two. Slide over a little bit. Same thing, we've got three angles here. 30, one, and nothing. We don't know what this angle is, however, it's marked congruent to this 30 degree guy. That's what this little half circle right here is. This one has the same thing, so they are the same size. This is 30. So 30 plus 30 plus whatever this is has to add up to 180. Subtract 60 from both sides. So the measure of angle one has to be 120 degrees. Number three, here we have um, a 60 degree angle, angle one, a 90 degree angle, angle two, and a 30 degree angle. I'm gonna drink real quick, my throat's dry. Okay, here we wanna find the measures of angles one and two. There's two of them here. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, first of all, I can start with angle two because if this is 90 degrees and this is 30, 30 plus 90 plus what equals 180, right? So 30 plus 90 plus the measure of angle two adds up to 180. 30 and 90 is 120. And if I subtract 120 from both sides, I know the measure of angle two has to be 60 degrees. So this guy is 60, okay? Over here, I know if this angle W is 90, this one on the other side has to be 90 as well right, because they both make up a straight line, so they make up a linear pair. So 60 plus 90 plus what adds up to 180? Well, we know this angle's 60, and so if this one's 60 and both of these are 90, that third angle has to be the same, right? 60 plus 90 plus what adds up to 180? Sixty and ninety is one fifty. If I subtract one fifty from both sides, I get thirty degrees. So we just found the measures of angles one and two. Could use a few different things there. Um, more theorems we'll go into in a bit, but kind of common sense. I hope you guys can see these numbers, okay? This file is in this folder. If you can't, you can always pull it up and read it on your own. Okay, so here we want angles one and two, right? Well, for angle one. This is a bow tie, so they should be the same. For angle one, this guy up here is 66. This guy down here is 58. And then angle one with them, they all three have to add up to 180. 66 and 58 is 124, I think. I'm double checking myself, yep. 124 plus whatever angle one is equals 180. If I subtract 124 from 180, I get 56. So the measure of angle one is 56 degrees. Angle two is, oh, that's supposed to be a six. 
Angle two is vertical to that, so the measure of angle two has to be exactly the same. And once I know what angle two is, I can find the measure of angle three up here, this guy. 56 plus 50 plus what equals 180? Right, I'm looking for the measure of angle three. Oh, I didn't realize there was squish down here, sorry. 56 and 50 is 106. So if I subtract 106 from both sides, I'm left with 74 degrees, and that's the measure of angle three. I should have called it that. Okay, so we've got our angles one and two, and angle three. Sometimes it does depend on what order you solve for um, in your problem. Here we had angles one, two, and three. I could not have solved for angle three until I knew what angle two was, and I couldn't solve for angle two until I knew what angle one is, so I had to start with angle one there. All right, next theorem is the exterior angle theorem. Now, this seems a little more complicated. Um, it's a little more involved. However, it is not super complicated, and I hope you understand once you see it down a few times. All right, the exterior angle theorem. At each vertex of a triangle, the angle formed by one side, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to show you. Here it is written down. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. And they have a picture drawn here. So the remote interior angles are the angles not touching the exterior angle. So this guy right here, this guy right here, the two of those, this angle and this angle, the two of these together are going to add up to this outside angle here, right? Measure of angle one, the outside guy, is equal to A plus B. These two together, okay? What? What? That doesn't even make sense. What? Okay, I'll show you. If we have a triangle, right? We already said that all three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So, if we know these two angles, and we look at the angle we don't know, and we extend out one of the sides of our triangle. So we had this side down here. I just extended it out, and that created this exterior angle, right? <coughs> this exterior angle is equal to these two angles inside added together. How? Because this angle and this angle plus whatever this angle is adds up to 180, right? 62 plus 58 plus whatever that missing angle is adds up to 180. 62 and 58 is 120. And if I subtract 120 from both sides, that means that missing angle must be 60 degrees, right? So if this angle is 60 degrees, I should have done that in a different color. Excuse me. I'll try and write in red. If this angle is 60 degrees and these two angles are a linear pair, they make up a straight line, because remember I just extended this line, then 60 plus what equals 180? Right? So 60 plus these two angles adds up to 180, or 60 plus this one angle adds up to 180. So since either way you're adding this 60 with something else to get 180, that means this sum has to be equal to this entire sum, right? 60 plus this has to be 120. So in other words, these two remote interior angles, they're inside the triangle and they're remote because they're nowhere near this angle, right? They're remote because they're not touching this exterior angle. They're the other two angles here. So if we add these together, they add up to this outside angle. Let's see if we can do a few examples with that. I got a few on here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Sorry, it's so tiny in the writing. All right, number five. I'll do it in red so it shows up good. All right, so we've got this guy and this guy, and we're looking for this outside angle, right? These are our two remote interior angles. So they're going to add up to this outside angle. 55 and 50 equals 105, 105 degrees. So this outside angle 
is 105 degrees. That's our answer. It's that easy. Just add up the two remote interior. They equal the outside. If you're trying to figure out how that works out, well, these two add up to 105, which means this third angle has to be 75 if all three of these add up to 180. If this is 75 and these two angles make up a straight line, 75 and what equals 180? 105. So whether I'm adding the 75 degree angle here with these two or whether I'm adding it with this one, either way it's got to equal 180. So this outside has to end up equaling these two insides. Okay, let's look at number six. Excuse me. Okay, so we've got angles two and angle one. We gotta solve for both of them, right? Well, I know angle one is made up of, it's a sum of these two interior angles. Not the one touching the outside, the other two, right? So 25 and 35 is 60. And if I know this is 60 degrees, then I know this one has to be 120 degrees because the two together have to add up to 180, right? So I'll say the measure of angle one equals 60, the measure of angle two equals 120, right? And I could have first solve for angle two. I could have said this plus this plus what equals 180. And once I knew this was 120, I could have just subtracted it to figure out this one was 60. Or you can use your exterior angle theorem to first add the two remote interior angles and find this outside guy. It doesn't matter which way you do it, either way works. Okay, number seven, excuse me. Okay, we've got angles one, two, and three that we're adding up. All right, we need to remember our rules about parallel lines here and transversals, because we're gonna use it, okay? These two lines, this guy and this guy, here, I'll use my highlighter. This guy and this guy are marked parallel, right? They've got these two um, arrows here, so we know they're parallel. So they're being cut by this transversal, right? Which means this angle and this angle are interior, alternate interior angles. And we've already learned that when lines are parallel, alternate interior angles are congruent. So if this guy's 60, the measure of angle two has to be 60. Okay, same goes for this guy and this guy. This angle right here is alternate interior with this angle right here. This says it's 60, so the measure of angle one has to also be 60. And once I know what angles one and two are, I can figure out angle three. Let's do it in purple. Not that you can tell what color they're in. Maybe you can. All I've got to do is add my two remote interior. They're remote because they're not this angle. They're not touching the outside angle. It's the other two. So 60 plus 60 is 120. So this outside angle, angle three, has to be 120. Hope that's making sense. We got one more. Number eight. Oh, did I even show up? I hope I wasn't too far up. Sorry if you didn't follow that. All right, number eight. Um, we're looking for angles two, one, two, and three. <coughs> the one that looks easiest to find first is angle one because we know what the other two angles are. So 35 looks like it's 35 plus 36 plus whatever angle one is is gonna be add up to 180. 35 and 36 is 71. 180 minus 71 is 109, so the measure of angle one is 109 degrees. So there's one of them. Then we have to find the measure of angle, we can find three next, right? Because this is a straight line. So if this is 109, 109 and angle three have to make up 180 degrees because they're a linear pair. So the measure of angle three equals 180 minus 109, which is 72. Also notice that the measure of angle three is uh, exterior angle to these two remote interior angles, right? 35 and 36, we've extended this side out, so it, angle three is an exterior angle 
to these two remote interior angles. If we add these together, oops, it's supposed to be 71, sorry, not 72. I hope you caught that. If we add these together, they equal 71 degrees. Okay, and then lastly, angle two, once I know this is 71 degrees, this is vertical, so I know this one has to be 71 degrees, it's not numbered. And then these three have to add up to 180. This guy's 80, so these two have to add up to 100. So 71 plus what equals 100? 29. 100 minus 71 equals 29. So the measure of angle two equals 29 degrees. Hopefully you're able to follow this. Just kind of logic, right? Once you know angle relationships and that all three add up to 180, there are different ways of finding angle measures. Honestly, you don't need the exterior angle theorem. There's other ways of mathematically finding the same answer. This is just supposed to be a shortcut. Instead of finding an angle measure in two steps, this helps you if you understand it, this helps you find it in one step. But if you don't understand it, that's okay too. All right, find each measure. The measure of angle A, B, C. So remember, the vertex is the letter in the middle. A, B, C. We're finding this angle right here. It says 2X, right? <coughs> well, I can either figure out that these two angles make up a straight line. So if this is 145, this one has to be 35 because they got to add up to 180. And if this is 135, I can add all three of these together and set them equal to 180. Or I can recognize that this is an exterior angle. These are two remote interior angles. They don't touch this guy. So I know these add up to this guy, right? So 2x plus 95 equals 145. Subtract 95 from both sides. Is that 55? And 55 divided by 2 equals 2750. 27.5, not 2750. So x equals 27.5, and then if we multiply it by 2, we get 55, right? So this angle, ABC, that's what it asks us to find is 55 degrees. I just took it a step further. You didn't have to go that far with it. And then number 10, last one here. The measure of angle F, let me scoot it over. These two angles are remote interior to this exterior angle. It's not anywhere near this guy, it's the other two. And they're the same, they're both X. So I can say two X, and I added them together, right? I said X plus X adds up to 58 degrees. In other words, 2x equals 58, right? So x is going to equal 25 and 29. So each of these angles is 29 degrees, which means angle F is 29 degrees. Hopefully that makes sense to you. If not, let me know.